Previously on Danganronpa V3. Junko and Oshima is... Immortal? Junko and Oshima is... <laughs> what? Just... I don't want to stop having a seizure! I don't want to... What is that? Fuck it! Okay, time for a commercial break. And now back to a new killing game. Hello! The Sneako B. Back with some more Danganronpa V3. We last left off, we found out, yes, it's actually Samugi who's the fucking mastermind. Supposedly. I, I don't know, though. Be, we haven't seen her break character yet, though. She still s seems to be sticking with her guns here. And says, <laughs> it says the best fucking line in the whole series. <laughs> it's Junko! It's always Junko! Every time! Every game! God damn it, she could be right, though. I mean, that's a valid fucking argument, in my opinion. But yes, as you guys pointed out, <laughs> oh man, after the first case where I gave so much shit, I was like, this is so obvious. It's so clear that Kane did it. Well, fucking eat shit, Nico. You were wrong. It wasn't obvious at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. Oh, that's, fu that's so fucking good. Ah, oh, yes, good. I love to be served like that. Yeah, fucking... Throw that shit back in my face, Dongaropa. That's what I want to see. I want to see my mom get fucked. Oh, man, that's so funny. But yes, I asked you guys if it's okay to, to continue from here, um, like save and continue from here. And from what I heard, you guys said it should be just fine. So, all right. Hopefully, I don't run into any issues. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to continue where I left off then. Anyway, I I'll probably actually play this one all the way to the end. Uh, I just didn't want to play it from beginning to end because if it was going to be like four hours. The last episode was like an hour and a half long and I already played for a good while. So uh, I think I'll probably be fine to to get through to the end and i think i'll probably be too hooked i just kind of imagine i'd like to imagine the last episode was where they would like normally say class trial intermission and then just like the other trials i usually always played the second part all in one sitting all right guys let's see what i don't know what, what's gonna happen now okay time for a commercial break no it isn't <laughs> see we're a good comedy group too so please don't uh uh oh oh okay <laughs> No, no, don't do it, Samugi. Please, please don't do it. Junko and Oshima is. <laughs> I like it just kills, just kills the last two. Right? Well, I guess that was kind of how it went in the originally, anyway. No, don't right do it. Right the fuck here. No. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, that is definitely the original voice actress. Oh, for fuck's sake. Even if nobody was waiting. Even if it makes you go, what? Again? <laughs> right, Nico? Yes. The diva of despair takes the stage once more. Junko and Oshima, the 53rd. What? The 53rd? New ultimate despair. Oh, for fuck's Come on. <laughs> Oh my god, this shit is so self-aware. There you go, Nico! It's Junko again! Everything you ever wanted! No! No, that's not what I wanted! That's the complete opposite of what I wanted! Well, too fucking bad! Despair, Nico! Despair! It is the same as every other fucking game. Go ahead and just fucking take it in! <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Like, is it just Samugi dresses Junko, or was Junko pretending to be Samugi? I don't fucking. Who cares? It's Junko. That's all that matters. <laughs> I mean, it is actually her voice actress too. So I wonder if it, if it was also her voice actress that was voicing Samugi this whole time. Junko and Oshima, the fifty-third. What the fuck? Okay, so it's gotta be the clone of them, right? It's gotta be like the fifty-third Junko clone. Sumugi's gone, you weird duck face freak! Ah, uh, god damn it! I thought I was past the duck face shit when Miyu died! Our friend who survived with us? <laughs> Sorry about that. You can go ahead and forget about Sumugi Shirogane. Huh. They actually did, I think, give her some new, uh, updated sprites this time. Or probably portraits, I mean. Because I'm just a character. Whoa! You know, a lie. 
Wow, that was really quick at changing your clothes there, Samugi. Sorry to all her fans out there. If any of you even exist, that is. <laughs> oh, savage as shit. Wow. Yeah, I get uh, uh, everyone seems it seemed pretty lukewarm in the comments about Samugi. <laughs> I think that, that's pretty self-aware too, didn't they? They kind of knew. They're like, yeah, she's the least exciting of everybody. Did you always have those V's and her her corneas like that? Oh wait, there's one. Wait, what the hell? Oh, what the fuck? The one on the left is a V, and the one on the right's a three. What the shit is that? <laughs> Are you really? Why do you have V3 inscribed in your corneas, Juko? Uh, a lie? Samuki Shiragani was nothing more than a cover for me, the mastermind. <laughs> Calling her your friend? Ugh, it's laughable, really. Really, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> yeah, she may be the 53rd, but she's still got those great old titties. Are you serious? You're the mastermind behind this? Really? Really, dude? Yes, Why? really, dude. That face and that voice. It's just like... Those nails. Junko and Oshima. Oh, those nails always gross me the fuck out. I know, right? Oh, does it make you fall into despair? <laughs> well, does it? No. It's not possible. Junko Inoshima is dead. She's cut up into pieces and sewn on to Kameda. But why did you call yourself the 53rd? As history repeats itself, so does Junko Inoshima. Yeah? Yeah? As you can see, I am a perfect reproduction of Junko Inoshima. So... You're just a freak pretending to be Junko and Ashima, huh? No, a perfect reproduction. Perfect reproductions are exactly the same as the original. Her logic is impossible to follow, much like the real Junko and Ashima's. Let's go by too quick. I can't tell. Is it Monokuma that's going across the screen? That's like between a transition between Sumugi and Junko? Whatever it is, you're the actual mastermind of this killing game, right? So if we kill you, then that'll be the end, correct? Get her, Maki! Say mean things like oh. that. Besides, killing me never ends the game. Pretty sure it's the Monocubs flying across the screen. It never ends the game? What do you mean? I guess just make another Junko. She's bluffing. Let's just kill her and get it over with. Do it, Maki. Wait, if force is necessary, it should wait until after we see what she... No need, Kibo, because this class trial is over. What? It's already over? Oh, but I just showed up. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? I just hit me. Five, Roman numeral five, three, 53rd. That, that's what the V3 and Don Rupa V3 means. Really? Is that it? Is that the deeper meaning to that name? You killed Kaede, and Monokuma covered it up with a false narrative. I will never forgive you for murdering my one true Wafu. The class trials are rigged, and this whole game is illegitimate. Oh, that. Right. Yeah, I definitely messed that up. Sorry about that. So? So? Is that all you have to say? The viewers won't accept that kind of apology. You gotta stop the killing game! That's right! Look at- Think of the picky penguins, Junko! They're not gonna sit by and let that shit happen, right guys? Guys? Huh? The viewers? Um... It seems like you're on the wrong track, so let me explain. Okay, so first, I'll start with the event that inspired me to plan this killing game! Okay. That was about the time the meteorite impact started intensifying. Did she just start some big story on her own? <laughs> I'm gonna blur her the fuck up in a second. I knew of Hope's Peak Academy's gopher project, and my inner Junko told me... Crushing the gopher project, humanity's last hope, would be the perfect despair. Actually, I'm not sure it is the same voice actress. The, the original's much higher. 
I guess she could still be putting on a voice, but it sounds like when she's imitating her as Junko, she doesn't sound exactly like her, so maybe not. That's when I took over the killing game I devised. I forced those selected as humanity's last hope to play my killing game. And then I took the name Tsumugi Shirogane and sneaked in among them. Did Kokichi know about this? Wasn't he a remnant of despair? He was your comrade, right? Huh? Comrade? Junko Enoshima doesn't have comrades. It's like, you don't need a remote after you've thrown out the TV, right? The remnants of despair are just a bunch of despair fanboys and fangirls. <laughs> but I am despair itself. We know. I am a god of despair. Kokichi was just one of my believers. No, he wasn't. Why are we still Asura saying this? wouldn't be comrades with one of their believers, right? Then Kokichi didn't know your true identity either. <laughs> what a hopeless existence he led. I wish you were still here for just like this spot part here, just because I'd like to see what his reaction would be. To the end, he had no idea the object of his worship was right under his nose. I don't care about your story. Tell us about the people watching. Oh, I, I, I guess we haven't truly confirmed yet that this, that Kokichi wasn't a remnant of despair. That's why I do have the evidence, and I'm sure I'll prove it in a bit, but I feel like by this point, for fuck's sake, people, come on. Who's this killing game being shown to? Where are the survivors of humanity? They're fucking dead, Amiko. There's nobody watching. Huh? We were the last 16 people alive, you know? Who could be watching? Humanity is gone. No, you're lying. If this isn't being shown to anyone, why care so much about rules? For her, probably, right? You're the one who I keeps guess. talking about making the game interesting. For whom? For her! That was just a part of my perfect reproduction. You're what? I just perfectly reproduced my own killing game is all. Just like the old Junko. The original was meant to be shown, so that's how I made mine. You just wanted to recreate the past killing game. That's it? <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> that's all you get! No big payoffs, son! There are no survivors of humanity. Things are just as you recall. That is the truth of the Ultimate Academy killing game! She says that, but I feel like we're gonna show that that isn't true, right? Also, the fact that uh, Kiba has that antenna on his head, it's clearly getting a signal from somewhere. No, that's wrong! No! Oh dear! I am so surprised! <laughs> oh, that's a new Samugi expression. Maybe we all remember that there's no one left out there. But how do we know our memories are real? Yeah. What do you mean by that? You think your memories are wrong? There's something that's been bothering me about our memories. Here, look at this book. The complete history of Hope's Peak Academy? Yeah, remember that time I turned into a giant dinosaur and wrecked through fucking Tokyo? Yeah! This book contains years of research about Hope's Peak Academy. Nothing would indicate this book is a prop. I believe the information here is accurate. But there's a lot written in here that differs from our memories. What is different? To know that for certain, I'll need everyone's help. I want you all to tell me everything that you remember about Hope's Peak Academy. We just need to talk about what we remember from Hope's Peak? Okay. Um, so it started with the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy, inspiring wars and terrorism around the world. It would not be hyperbole to say that event brought despair to all mankind. And it was all caused by a single high school girl. Who's OP as fuck! Yeah, it was me! Junko Enoshima enrolled in Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate fashionista. 
but my real identity was the ultimate despair. In order to cover the world in despair, I put my plans... Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up here. Huh? I detect no discrepancy in my memory banks. Yes. Everything we just said is just like we remember it. But it doesn't match what's written in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. I'll determine exactly why later. For now, I need to identify the discrepancy. So you gotta play Spot the Difference! Point out what everyone is mistaken about in their memories of Hope's Peak Academy! Alright! Time to play some Dongon Rumpa Trivia! <laughs> wow, alright. It's getting a little meta there. Some what? <laughs> What's a Dongon Rumpa? Whoa! Alright, no lies here. Not just the history of host speak. Let me have a look at the, uh... At this again. Yeah, protect them- it's the- protect themselves from the tragedy. The 17th class sealed themselves inside Hope Speak Academy as part of the Hope Speak Shelter Project. Or maybe did, did it say that she had joined as a- she applied there, right? Is that what- is that what they said? I- I don't know. Did not admit students by application, the only way it was to be scouted. Off almost tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope Speak Academy. Inspiring war and terrorism around the world. The cause of all that despair was just a single high school girl. A student of Hope's Peak Academy. The ultimate despair, Junko Enoshima. I did everything in my power to spread despair over the entire world. Oh. The biggest, most awful, oh. most tragic Oh, the fact that it was not just a group, it was not just her, but also a, a group of people. Okay. Right here. Boom! That's wrong! Wrong, Himiko! Okay. Why is that horribly significant, though? Just that there's just a slight discrepancy? One started the tragedy. The ultimate despair. Junko Enoshima. Although, I suppose it, well, I guess. I mean, it was still her that, like, put it all into motion. And then the group sort of came afterwards, right? At least that's what I remember. But that's not what this book says. Ultimate Despair doesn't just refer to Junko Inoshima. It refers to a group and the movement that came after. To put it simply, there's more to Ultimate Despair than Junko Inoshima. This is the first time I've heard about this. Wasn't Junko the Ultimate Despair? That's what I recall as well. That label should only apply to her. Coincidences sure are scary. Everyone misremembered the same thing. Coincidence? Misremembered? No, it's no coincidence. No, there's a difference in, in these memories. And that's not all. There are other discrepancies I'd like to point out. Ugh, does it even matter? I'm bored already. Just shut up. So, let's continue where we left off. Junko resorted to different tactics to cover the world with despair. The killing game between the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy, for example. They were locked up and forced into the killing game by the ultimate despair. But boo-hoo! When I, the one who started it all, died, events were set in motion. And the world began to move towards restoration. Then the fight between the future foundation and the remnants of despair raged on! And a ridiculous anime followed! The worst case scenario was avoided! Yay! A happy ending. Not yet! No! There are more points in with that conflict the history. I'll point those out next. All right, here we go. All right, yeah, but this this is what I was talking about. The fact that they didn't seal it wasn't like they were forced in there and sealed up. The they went in there for another the most reason. Events in human history happened because Junko had prepared countless ways of spreading despair. Like the killing game of the seventy-eighth class of Hope Peak Academy. Whoops. The eighth class of Hope's Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by the ultimate despair. There we are. That's wrong! No! They were not held prisoner! 
Not initially, at least. It wasn't the ultimate despair that trapped the 78th class in Hope's Peak Academy. It was the class themselves. They shut themselves in. Shut themselves in? Why would they shut themselves in? It has to do with the Hope's Peak Academy shelter project. During the tragedy, the 78th class trapped themselves inside Hope's Peak Academy for protection. So our memory of the 78th class being trapped by the ultimate despair? Not totally right. Are you saying our memories are wrong? It just means those documents were written all half-assed. There's no need to worry about it. Your memories are all correct. What you've been saying isn't consistent. First you said it was just coincidence. Huh. Is that so? Let's just move on. I want to talk about one more thing from our memories. It's about the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy that we were attending. What about Hope's Peak Academy? There's no doubt that the 16 of us were students at Hope's Peak Academy. We heard it had been rebuilt and was accepting applications for talented students again. Ah, uh, oh, uh, there we go. There's the discrepancy there. So, okay, they, they, they were accepting applications, but they, you can only be scouted, so. And so, we gathered at the brand new Hope's Peak Academy. Since Hope's Peak Academy was large, we were all in separate classes. But there's no doubt we were students of the new school. Just like I thought, something wrong there. Why? Why are our memories so different? So what, we're just regular kids after all or something? Made to believe Hope's we were Peak ultimates? Academy was rebuilt. And with that, recruitment of talented students resumed. Uh, bah! That's wrong! Wrong, Kibo! We remember Hope's Peak Academy taking applications from talented students. But that's not what's written here. The Academy did not take applications. All of their students were scouted. Scouted? I've never heard that. I wasn't scouted. I applied to Hope's Peak Academy on my own. That's what you just led to believe, Imiko. Me too. I chose to come to Hope's Peak. At least, that's what I remember. Are you saying we're remembering it wrong? But what if this book's just wrong? Researchers make mistakes, too! Maybe so, but I'm not getting all this from just the book. There is other evidence as well. Other... what? The killing game we're in now is one that began with Hope's Peak Academy. So this is the third game after Hope's Peak and Jabberwock Island. Or 53rd game. But remember what Rantaro said? Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. But Rantaro's name wasn't listed among the past participants of the game. He was not present at the two killing games that Junko orchestrated. Then, which killing game did Rantaro participate in? I'm not entirely sure, but it's clearly inconsistent, isn't it? And the inconsistencies don't stop there. Kokichi's account is also suspect. Kokichi's account is inconsistent too? Oh, an inconsistency? Do tell. We remember Kokichi as a remnant of despair. But I don't think that's true. He wasn't a remnant of despair. He wasn't a remnant of despair? Ha! <laughs> no doubt, Maki! That's impossible. He was definitely a remnant of despair. Now it's just kind of an asshole. The remnants of despair were the ones who tried to stop the Gopher Project. And Kokichi was their leader. If he was the one leading the remnants of despair, then he must have been second only to the ultimate despair herself. Sure, okay, Kiba. You just keep telling yourself yes, that. He loved me more than anyone. 
Like an obsessed fan hiding in the bushes. <laughs> I see you, Juko. So where's your proof he wasn't a remnant of despair? Proof that Kokichi isn't a remnant of despair. Da da da. Uh, this one. This is it. The motive video we found in Kokichi's dorm room. Kokichi Homa, the ultimate supreme leader. He calls Mayhem the world over as the leader of the secret organization DICE. And by Mayhem, I mean petty nonviolent crimes and harmless pranks. Anyway, Kokichi had ten loyal goons working for him. These goons were fr like friends and family, the most important people in his life. An organization centered around petty crimes, one that forbids murder. And in addition to that, the group was only ten people. That's far too few to be the same group that tried to sabotage the Gopher Project. Meaning that whatever group Kokichi was a part of is not the remnants of despair. His motive video clearly contradicts our memories. The memory we have of Kokichi being a remnant has to be false. You mean... he wasn't a remnant of despair? That's... not possible. That's unpossible, Maki! Come to think of it, we never actually heard it directly from him. And, and whenever we brought it up, he seemed to not know what we were talking about. But now nah, he was probably sliding us again. But it's still not possible. Kokichi didn't tell us because he wasn't exposed to that flashback light. And neither was Kaito. <laughs> Juko. Hope, despair. Kaito didn't appear to know anything about the remnants of despair or Junko Inoshima. If they'd been exposed to it, maybe we'd know the truth. Maybe it's better that they weren't. I think the people who were affected by that flashback light were wrong. What do you mean? All of these weird inconsistencies are from memories we got from the flashback lights. So the flashback lights are the cause? You found the classroom that makes all the flashback lights, right, Shuichi? Yes, and I noticed something strange about it. I actually did a little experimenting with a device hidden in the room. It allowed you to select the memory that a flashback light would recover. Hey, can you make me remember that I had sex with Kaede? I mean, it doesn't have to be true, but... Oh, it would make me feel so much better. However, some of the memories were inconsistent with each other. And then have Nico play a minigame where he gets to do it. <laughs> yes! Now that is the best bonus content a Dongar of a game has ever had! One might say, there are survivors. But another would say, there are no survivors. Bizarre, right? The flashback lights allegedly help us recover our memories. We're supposed to remember the truth that we forgot, and there should only be one truth. But then, having the option to recover contradictory memories doesn't make sense. Then what are you saying? So what? Huh? The flashback light isn't for recovering lost memories? Is that what you're saying? You're just saying it's full of shit? Huh? You say all the time and effort I put into making up fake shit for you? It was told fake? You just, you just said, You shut up, Shuichi! Then what was it for? What was it for, huh? Huh? <laughs> right. Go on, tell them. What are the flashback lights for? What are the flashback lights used for? Why can you select different memories? And what does it mean if those memories contradict each other? If I put all the pieces together, it'll all make sense. We'll be able to see the real truth! Oh, hey man, it's Gambit, here we go! Uh... For... Plan? No? For... T? No? What are they looking for here? No? L? 
Fuck, I don't know what word they're looking for. The flashback light does what to memories? Oh. A Falsify? Fake? I. Incorrect? It, no, Jesus Christ. I mean, he's like using everything here. Uh, imitate? Fuck. Imp. Im oh, implant. That's that's a weird word for this. I, I don't know. It, they implant memories. Okay. It was that kind of obvious though. I don't. <laughs> yes, that's it. The flashback light isn't supposed to help us remember anything. Oh, that was kind of vague in my opinion, but. It's a tool for implanting false memories. Okay, it could have said false memories or false or something. Why? Why the verb for implanting? That, <laughs> It could also have been implanting real memories. That verb could be used for the same thing. Yes. The memories you could select for the flashback lights weren't our real memories. They were memories to be implanted inside us. That's why the contents of those memories contradict each other. Once we're exposed to a flashback light, those memories become the truth to us. So the memories we recovered with the flashback lights were... Not real. They were all false memories. They were all lies. Lies! Lies! Oh, what a horrible truth. If the memories from the flashback lights are lies, then everything was a lie. All the suspense and foreshadowing was for nothing. Yay! Can you believe it? It's like everything that happened didn't matter at all. Well, that is what it means. Huh? Lies are just like snowballs. The more you roll them, the bigger they get. The bigger they are, the more fun and shocking it is when they're revealed. That's why everything up till now has been lies. That's the truth. The memories from the flashback lights were just lies? It's just as Shuichi said. The flashback lights are not for recovering lost memories. They're tools for implanting new ones. The light they emit is actually information that has been converted to light waves. That light is beamed directly into the brain, causing a deja vu sort of phenomenon. The brain gets confused and thinks the info it just received happened in the past. We were just confused? None of those games ever really happened, Himiko! They're all just in your dumb little fucking duck face brain! God damn it, stop bringing up my fucking duck face! For example, your memories of being students of Hope's Peak Academy? Fake! <laughs> you guys don't have anything to do with Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, snap! None of us were ever students there. It was just a fake memory. Hmm. <laughs> Not students from Hope's Peak? So that was what I was thinking at the beginning of the game when we started off as just regular people, right? So does that mean we were, we were given memories to make us think that we had talents, but we really didn't? Yep, that was all fake. Looking back, it was a mistake to have you remember Hope's Peak. I didn't originally plan on giving you those memories, but... I was in a rush and overlooked all those inconsistencies, so you figured it all out. <laughs> it's hopelessly the worst. It's kind of weird, like, yeah, like, Juga's got, like, this glow to her. <laughs> I was trying to figure that out, like, it's like, what's something different about her from the other characters? Oh, yeah, it's like, like, her, around her, it's got, like, this white glow. So that's why Kokichi had to die? <laughs> Good job, Mr. Detective. You got it. The only reason we thought Kokichi was a remnant was because of the flashback lights. But he did say that he was the leader of a cult organization. That was a lie he invented himself. He wanted to be the mastermind. He wanted us to believe it. That's why he lied. Anyway, I gotta confess. You know that cult I mentioned earlier? The leader is me. Huh? 
Which means, oh god, here we go again. The mastermind of stuck Monica onto the arc is me. He usurped the mastermind's role, but in doing so, became a thorn in their side. So to get rid of that hindrance, the mastermind played along with a lie. The mastermind manipulated us into thinking Kokichi was a remnant of despair. At uh. the same time, having everyone remember Hope's Peak Academy made you guys target him because you thought he was a remnant of despair. You were using the flashback lights to control us? I see. Okay, so it really was the mastermind that put the flashback light there. And it was for that exact reason. I see. Okay. Then the reason I tried to kill Kokichi was... All a lie! You were being controlled by false memories, like putty in the mastermind's hands. But Maki wasn't the only one being controlled. You all were! Everybody's confused! Remember when Kokichi revealed the truth of the outside world? You all got so depressed, you couldn't even focus on the killing game! Wait, then... To make us recover from that, you... Yep! We gave you memories of being Hope's Peak Academy students! The symbol of hope! Ah, uh, to get us out of our rut, to get back to murdering, baby! Hell yeah! So you all could face despair! Yay! You... controlled us with that big memory? Well, it wasn't just that memory. It was all of them up till now. New mysteries and truths turn to motivation. Motivation drives a story. Everything from the flashback lights was just motivation to move you forward. But I guess it was fake motivation. You idiots kept getting jerked around by meaningless lies. This class trial was like that too, wasn't it? Why was it you were so motivated to do it? Because you got a memory from one of the flashback lights, right? Is that all fake too? Was that also a memory you used to control us? Hey, what was it you guys remembered from it again? At first, you ran away from the Gopher Project, humanity's last hope. But then, you bravely chose to accept your fate. Using the power of Nagi's Hoge. God, I hate Nagi. <laughs> Says you took all the wishes of your friends and family. Yeah, that. Ah, uh, I'm never gonna forget that student. 46. He was awesome. And now you remember how you got here. You remembered that you had all been entrusted with the world's hope, right? Oh. Remembering the weight of that hope should have made you feel stronger. Okay, so I had a feeling that, that, that it was a chance that that was also a lie. But if that's the case, then what is the, the real truth? If we're just maybe just regular regular dudes, we're not really related to Hope's Academy, just regular students, but then why would we be part of this big project? I have to escape. I'll never give up. I won't be defeated by the mastermind. Even though Kaito and Kokichi were gone, and Kibo started to go berserk, you guys didn't give up hope. You decided to face this killing game, right? You were controlling our emotions? Even our resolve to defeat the mastermind? This is a killing game. A death game where emotions run like blood. If the participants aren't trying their best to live, it's just not very exciting. Oh, the memories were fake. Then, what was everything till now? That memory, and that memory. And that memory, 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 and that... If they were all fake memories, then... Where are we? Why are we in this killing game? Yeah, who knows? My plans for mankind's last killing game kind of just fell apart. <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm just kind of dicking around. <laughs> Kanaka just kind of threw this shit together. <laughs> so figure out why on your own. 
This is a class trial, after all. Then, who are you? I don't know who you are. What's not to understand? I became me. What about that don't you get? If this killing game is connected to Hope's Peak Academy, then I believe you. This is certainly the work of someone carrying on Junko Inoshima's will. But we have nothing to do with Hope's Peak, so you can't be Junko. So who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, and then, <laughs> you got me! Here, the real, my real identity is so like, it's just kind of, it's just a photograph of Tikadaka there. Flipping us off like, yeah, motherfuckers, was me this whole time. Oh, yeah. Lick, lick, lick my balls. Woo! <laughs> the biggest my fuck ever. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so meta. Oh, I need no one else. What the fuck? <laughs> what the? Wait, was that was that Johnny on Bosch's voice? It didn't sound like him. What is this? Huh? You know him, don't you? He was in the Jabberwock Island killing game. Yeah, but he added the V3 to his his pupils too. I'm Hajime Hinata. That is not Johnny Young Bosch. That's not what we mean. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm just cosplaying. Cosplaying? Oh. Yeah, this is just cosplay. But it's not just normal cosplay, because I can perfectly replicate the character. Whoa, hey, whoa, I... <laughs> I, Kurt, I never heard your English voice actor before. Oh, that was weird. This sounds absolutely nothing like the voice you gave me, dude. <laughs> but what else is fucking new, right? Oh, my God. Uh, okay, so it is just Samugi cosplaying as Junko. But why 53, then? See, even even Hog Curry has got the V3 in his eyes. Check it out. Even my voice sounds exactly the same. Hey guys, look, it's me, Kazuichi! <laughs> yeah! Hey, Suichi, you wanna touch my saga wrench? Is Junko and Oshima also? Yes, it's my cosplay. Oh! Demonized! Oh my god, there's the crazy Samugi! Alright, so it is just, it's just her just being fucking bananas. Oh lord. Ah! Oh my god, Leon Wick! reproduce a number of characters and actually become them <laughs> I see I saw some Kamehameha hair there too some Sumiki apron fucking is that Makuma with a hair net on what the hell is that a wig cap of course oh my god whoa terror terror hat the uh he, uh what I, I can never remember that little gopher dude's name whatever he the his tie this is the talent of the ultimate cosplayer. What the hell? I thought Johnny Young Bosch voiced Rentaro. Was that not him? I, it really did sound like him. It's, it, it would seem weird that they wouldn't also have him voice Hajime's... Well, fake Hajime's small parts here. I mean, they got Yuko's original voice actors to come back. How can she cosplay as students of Hope's Peak Academy? They're real people! Because Sumugi told us... Well, that's probably a lie too, right? That's what cosplay is supposed to be in the first place. Lately, some people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable. It's so unforgivable that I break into cosplay if I even attempt it. Ah, you remembered! <laughs> yes, that's exactly right! So then, what does this mean? Oh, hey, Bryce Pappenbrook, Nagi. What? If what I said was the truth, then Hope's Peak Academy was... What was Hope's Peak, Ac Hope's Peak Academy was? What? Smoogie can cosplays them. There's only one possibility. It still exists. It was shut down. It's fictional? What? It's fictional. It's all fictional? Fictional? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history never happened. Hey guys, it's me, Tagami, here, glowing with a godly light. 
Hope's Peak, the Future Foundation, and the Remnants of Despair do not exist. Because it's all fiction. Ah! None of it actually happened in the real world. <laughs> what? I... How meta are we getting here? All of those events took place within a fictional world known as Dongan Rampa. <laughs> What? What are we doing? What? What do you mean we're in a fictional world, Dagropa? What do you call this right now? This is the real world, though. That that shit was fake, but this shit right here, this shit's fucking real. This is some real Dagropa, baby. Woo! Dagropa. <laughs> Gungan Rampa. <laughs> what? Wow! This is the first time we're bringing it up in a game. What? What are you even talking about? You hear that music? That's the theme song! Here we go, guys! Oh! Hello! 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 Hold on. Then, Hope's Peak Academy doesn't exist? Nope, cause it's fiction. Doesn't exist in the real world. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Why? Are you kidding me? So this, this isn't a sequel? Are you taking? <laughs> oh, you should have listened to Kadaka the first time, Nico. You stupid fucking asshole. Ah! <laughs> no! It didn't exist ever! It never existed! This game is not a sequel, it's just based off a bunch of fake games! But this game is also fake! So what does it mean? I don't know! What? Isn't that surprising? Yeah, up till now you thought fiction was fact. But fiction is just fiction. Duncan Romp is just fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. What the fuck? This whole Danganronpa story was just stuffed into your memories. Holy shit, that's the original voice actor, Iwata? For that reason, you all believed that work of fiction was, in fact, reality. Hi, Sonya. And that's how we put on a cosplay performance for everyone to see. A cosplay performance of the whole wide Danganronpa world! <laughs> what? Uh, of the whole wide world? <laughs> so, this was all fake? Everything was made up? And the whole time, we thought it was real? Even Izuru? Chiaki Wafu? Hajime looking off in the distance? These are all just video games? Did you think the ultimate cosplayer's talent was only limited to characters? It'd be kind of lame if that was all the big bad mastermind could do. I can do far more than that. I can cosplay the world itself. So if you want to make me your enemy... Then your enemy is the world of Danganronpa itself. Danganronpa itself? But I love Danganronpa. But why? Why would you do this? Why make us think it's real? My God, what does that mean? Does that mean does my ch is my channel not real? Are these videos not real? Am I not real? Oh my fucking God! Yeah, that's the shooter's regular voice. Yep. Hey there, how's it going? It's me. I'm just stopping by for the Castle Voices Quick My Quick Donut Cameo. Hey, check out my eyes. Are they fucking looking? Woo! This is the world of Danganronpa, you know. No shit we're playing the killing game. Hey, Guzaru. I just found out apparently you're supposed to be a, like, cosplay Maj Majima, right? So isn't that like a double cosplay? But it's not 
not just any killing game. <laughs> oh my god. I was waiting for me to show up. Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, baby. It's a killing game that takes place in the real world, propped up by fiction. What the fuck? In other words, it's ultimate real fiction. Oh my god. Holy shit. Ultimate real fiction? How the fuck though? Look at Kibo. Look how robotic he is. Look how kooky all these characters are. You're telling me this is all just part of real world shenanigans? But if it's fiction, if everything isn't real, then the world being in ruins is also fiction, right? The world outside is fine, right? No, they're all dead. How did you like that scene? Our staff worked very hard on it. Staff? What? There's no need to worry about the people backstage. Anyway, back for our conversation. What? You guys can just relax. Are you serious? Are you, are you No. No. What? Are you telling me the world out there is really fine? What? Hasn't been destroyed. Uh. It's not destroyed. Then we can all go home and. Nah, that ain't happening. <laughs> Why? If the world is still intact, then we have homes to return to. No, you're not listening, Kimbo, dude. It's just, it ain't go back, bro. Why? I told you that ain't happening. You dumb sea urchin-headed. Wait, that's me. That's right. I I'm the master right of this whole kid game, dude! <laughs> it's me, Hakari, this time, dude! Monokuma, what's going on? I don't know. Do you really want to know? <laughs> Forget about the world! It wants nothing to do with you! The walls of this academy are your world now! The outside world is of no concern to you! Huh? The audience certainly agrees with me. Isn't that right, you guys? What? What the fuck am I doing? What's happening? <gasps> what the fuck? Oh. Oh my god. What is going on? everyone watching waiting bring the spoiler bring all the spoilers kyoku's my wafu <laughs> who are these people <laughs> what the fuck kyoku's my wafu oh my god it's all the weeaboos out there and they've all been watching this killing game transpire <laughs> It's got kind of true, actually. Course, those you see here are only a fraction of our total viewers. Oh, Jesus, that's your voice actress, Sakura? Jesus. Watching us? What? Wait, what is that say? Kuma Far. Fairy? Huh? Oh, uh, maybe these are the words people were telling me about. Kumaya could say the same thing. It's just like Shuichi said. This was all arranged because people want to see it. So this was all a show. This whole killing game. Yeah. Ah. Everyone in this whole peaceful world watches this show. No, Chucky, not you too. What? What? Wait, what? what? I'm so confused. So we're just saying that everything happened in the other games is all, uh, all the anime and everything? We're just saying that... It, it we're just like come out and say that that was works of fiction, but but that's like we already knew that, right? But we're saying it's also fiction within this fiction. It's just it's double fiction. That's too much fiction. Peaceful world. <laughs> the outside world is ah. in peace itself. There's no despair or wars and. <laughs> oh. All the people in this peaceful world are straight up crazy for this killing game! <laughs> wow! Oh, wow, that is... This is getting meta as fuck! Whoa! <laughs> oh! 
Dude, you watching this shit? Who's Himika still alive? She's shaking, dude. Real fiction is where it's at, bro. I believe in keeps. Oh my god. It's just like the comment sections of all these videos. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. I'm a break it. Stand this. It's too much. My husband knows Shuichi. It's true. He is your husband. Knows. Oh no. Viewers, get to the participate. Everyone's participating. This is too meta. Picky penguins for life. I saw that. Did you see it? Ah! Oh my god. What's happening? Wait. Why would a peaceful world need a game like this? It's because the world is so peaceful that this killing game is necessary. Oh, it's me, Chamaru. Hey. It is so very peaceful. And so. It is so very boring. With so much peace, people have become bored. They need stimulation. What? He created this ultimate real fiction so Danganronpa could fulfill that need. Ah! Oh! Outside world watching this is a huge Danganronpa fan. Oh my god, that's what that little nerdy kid was watching! He was watching my videos about Danganronpa, which is also about Danganronpa! It's about Danganronpa, 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 the same shit times like 30! Everyone loves the killing games. This killing game is for everyone. So it's everyone's killing school semester. This killing game is the latest entry in Danganronpa. <laughs> uh, fulfill me, right. That everyone has been waiting for. Clap, clap, clap. What a happy occasion. I loved the killing game. I thought to, uh, something. Wait, uh, uh gone to something. Shuichi, look this way, please. I love you. Killing Harmony, bro. Yeah. Did someone say something about fapping? We're Dongon fans. The harmony, I just got it, bro. PS4, yeah. We're done, gun fans. This is the truth of this killing game, isn't it? The ultimate real fiction. What? We were forced to play some fictional killing game. That's just stupid. This is so stupid. What the fuck, Monica? Suiji, it's always been stupid. You just didn't know it. You just didn't fucking realize it. I'm talking now. Talk to you, Nico. You little fucker. I see you. Ah, that's right. You've been so obsessed with these fucking games. They've been the backbone for your goddamn channel for all these years. But they were all lies, Nico. Lies. No, no, they were real. My wife was real. No, they're not real, Nico. Get through your dumb fucking head. All right. You see the figure of Kamina behind you? That's not real either. This is you talking to yourself in a whole bunch of weird voices! Even right now! It's not real! It's just you talking to yourself! No! What? That's impossible! No! It's just you doing it! I hear you! Ah! 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 You noticed way too late! There's no Danganronpa without Monokuma! How am I gonna sell the merch, huh? How? Since I'm here, that means this is Danganronpa! <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, there's the logo! What the hell? For the P coming to PS4 and Steam this September. What is this? Make sure you pre-order and get that pre-order bonus, everybody! Ah it's the title of the current Danganronpa you guys are doing. <laughs> Oh my god, what? A testament to the unquenchable thirst this blood-soaked world has for Danganronpa. Oh, hi, Gundam. I missed you, dude. What do you mean? Danganronpa's gone on so long because the whole world enjoys and supports it. Ah! Uh. Huh? How long has it gone on? Did you forget what season of Danganronpa this is? You guys are dumber than ants. Shuichi. What do you think? What? Nagi? Is that you? What number killing game is this? What season do you think we're on? You should be able to tell from the logo. Oh my god. It was 53 this whole time? This wasn't Dagger of a V3! It's Dagger of a 53! <laughs> And if that's not enough of a hint, just feast your eyes below my belt. Ah, Terror Terror's back too. 
Killing game is this? What number dong rope is this? Oh my god. Tell from the fucking logo. This this killing game is. Oh my god. It's fucking 53, baby! Uh, oh my god! We've I've already 53 games into the series. I didn't realize it, guys. Could this be the 53rd one? Ding ding! Correct! This is the 53rd season of Dongon Rupa! What? Five three. Words, Dongon Rumpa V3's official name is Dongon Rumpa Fifty Three. <laughs> what the hell? Twenty five was the best. <laughs> what? What the shit? Oh my god! Oh my god! I get wrecked, lol! Oh! Oh! oh. It's been on for so long. The V is the Roman numeral five. You get it, Shuichi? Don't you get it? It's really 54, actually. I love Shuichi so much. What the shit? What? I feel like I've made jokes about this, too. Did I, did I make jokes about shit like this? Did I say stuff about, like, Kameda and, like, Return of Kameda or something? I thought I said that. Did I say that? Was that real? Was that lie, too? With the Hope's Peak Academy arc in Danganronpa. Oh my god. Oh my god, next Danganronpa! Final Danganronpa 5! Dream Danganronpa 6! Shit, no! Danganronpa 7! Danganronpa... No! <laughs> oh my god! Da Miracle Danganronpa 9! Despair Scatter Attack! Anniversary Danganronpa 10! Birth of Despair! Oh, dude, that's my favorite. God, you guys remember that Let's Play? That went on for 346 episodes. I don't like, we literally thought it was never gonna end. I actually started to go a little crazy from playing it, and at some point, I cut my arm off and sewed Junko's arm onto it to be able to actually finish the rest. I was like, I just can't do it with this regular arm anymore! I fucking need Junko's arm, baby! The seasons just kept coming, and with it came more killing games! Ah! Oh, oh my god, so many references! Until it transcended games and anime, to become this, the ultimate real fiction. And now, we're in the 53rd season of Dagon Rampa! Oh my god, I was so wrong. Oh my god. No, it wasn't clones at all. It was just fucking random people, I guess? So then what, who are we? Why are we killing each other in a, in a game that's not what's well, based off a fucking series or something? What? Who are we? Why do we deserve to be here? 53rd season? What? Did the letter in there throw you off? Well, I guess that happens. But isn't it just rad how it looks like a letter, but it's really a number? Hell yeah, bro! Remember me and my badass long beard here? I got beat to death by a bunch of baseballs! Yeah! Our title is the 53rd. As this is the 53rd game we have masterminded. It was supposed to be a hint, but whatever. Ah! Uh, why would you put a Roman numeral in there? It doesn't make sense anyway, Juko, you stupid slut! Since this is the 53rd season, one would expect to see a multitude of characters. But you only have memories from the first two, so you wouldn't recognize any others! Oh my god, you mean they're... they're fucking... 51 other groups of Danganronpa characters that I don't even know about? What the hell? Oh my god, it must be all that fan fiction people have been posting. That's why I've limited myself to only cosplaying as Hope's Peak characters. Is it sinking in yet? This killing game is just the 53rd season of Danganronpa. The 53rd Danganronpa. It's all just a video game, bro. Trapped in a fictional Danganronpa-inspired world and forced to play the killing game. That is what the world desired from you. So yes, I'm the mastermind. But the real mastermind forcing you to do this is... Kadaka? The people of the outside world! Oh, yeah, them too. Ah, picky penguins! 
Who's the mastermind? Hi, I'm the mastermind. I'm the mastermind. I'm the mastermind. I'm the mastermind. I'm, the mastermind. I'm more blackened. Put Maki back on K. K thanks. I'm the true mastermind. Yes. Go ahead. Go. Yes. It's so beautiful. Despair. Oh my god. Why are these people so fucking happy? Shit tear. Oh, Switchy's nose is so cute. The people of the outside world are the ones who are forcing you to do this. The whole world is the real mastermind? Even you, Nico? I guess I. Oh, yes, that's right, I am. I just the remember. The reason I made this world? The reason you guys did the killing game? It's all because the outside world wants it, you know? It's not just me, it's everyone involved in this project. Project? What? You don't know what that is? Is your brain leaking oil or something? The ones managing this killing game aren't psychos like the remnants of despair. They're game developers at Spike Tunesoft. They're literal managers! Literally! So I want to hear your best guess. What company is running this show? <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Is it gonna be their logo or something? In here? Yeah, I see you. Before I do that, let me make sure there aren't any plushies, all right? I know this is kind of my fucking me to oblivion, but I can't let that stop me from finding all the plushies I gotta get. Why? Cause I gotta do it, bro. Just gotta do it for dong. Hey, I see you. Yeah, that's right, boy. All right, is that it? That Black Chunsoft, is it? It's another, okay, well maybe it is this. Yeah, I guess it is it. Team Danganronpa. I see! Yeah. Uh... Team Danganronpa? <laughs> like how you just threw it out there just like, that it? Yeah, the company that makes Danganronpa is called Team Danganronpa. You guys are behind in your studies. The audience knew the answer right away. I thought it was Spike Junsoft, but okay. It's in the title credits at the start, too. <laughs> but I understand. Why do you guys have 53 on your fucking pupils? Why was that necessary? Remember that video at the start? Remember that video at the Ah! Uh, trigger happy havoc! Uh, uh. So that's why I got so to show that shit at the beginning, huh? Oh, here we go. Next dog row four. Final dog row five. Matakuma returns. Hope's name dog row six. Shin dog row seven. The return dog row eight. Dog row nine. Mir Despair's counter counter bad ba da ba da. Eleven, twelve, there. Oh, oh, oh my god. Whoa. That's a lot of series. I want to know what the stores for those other ones were, though. Story is not over yet. Still going. We're gonna do this forever. I knew. Oh, that's what he means. It's gonna go on forever because it's gonna be more games. It's never gonna end until we're all fucking dead. Team Dong and Rupa. Holy shit sticks! I'm also a part of Team Danganronpa. We make the finest killing entertainment. Everyone enjoys our work oh so much. And our newest project is Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? Brought to life by Ultimate Real Fiction! Shut up! Shut up! 
Ah! Uh, God! No! Take me out! I want out of the Matrix, guys! You created an entire fictional world to make us do this fictional killing game? No matter how many false memories we've been implanted with, we aren't fictional! You sure about that? What? Either way, I don't want to do this anymore. Let me go home already! That's impossible. Didn't I tell you that you have no homes to go back to? What? Why not? Because you're just like us. You only exist within the world of Duncan Rampa. What? Just like you? <laughs> Still don't get it? You just need to ask yourselves one question. Who the hell are you guys? That's what I'm asking! Who are we? We're just regular kids, right? But... Why? Why are we here? Were we like sentenced to kill each other? Like, were we like miscreants? Who are we? Real people. Fictional characters. We're the same. We're all just like you? Yes, that's right. You're all fictional too. Huh? We're just fictional characters created solely for this killing game. Nothing we can do about it, I'm afraid. Danganronpa's that kind of property. <laughs> My god. Uh, what are you saying? So you're saying I'm not a master assassin? But then why am I so teasel? We are not fictional! We're living, breathing people! Your immaterial existence is a fabrication independent of your actual flesh and blood. Yeah, you're all fictional. You guys out there beyond the fourth wall already knew that, right? What? No, what? Are you serious? Ravens? What? What? Are you kidding me? We're still going even further, even further beyond by saying that everyone here, this is just all a game. It really is just a game. Even the, the game inside the game, it recognizes it's a game. You all didn't look like this when you first came to the Ultimate Academy. Those were your true selves. Now you're all just fictional characters. Okay, 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 okay. All right, that was it was fourth wall breaking, but also, okay, they're, they're, they are saying that this is the quote unquote real world based off a fictional thing. But the the cells that we saw before, okay, well that was at least sort of right. You know when I said it like. At the, when it first fucking happened, you know, and then it uh, slowly changed into other shit, but that initial theory that they were, that those was the, were original selves, and the memories they were given were fake and made into fake ultimates. I think I did say that a, a while ago, but that was, uh, that sort of changed, I think, over time. That's the truth. That's the truth? Then our real identities. Most big students. Ultimates in hiding. Normal fucking dudes! You're just normal, average, everyday people with no ultimate talent whatsoever. I mean, this ended up being so much more meta, though, than that, like, than I thought. I thought it was Monokuma trying to prove a point, you know? If, if there was a distinct possibility that we were just regular people made to believe we had ultimate talents. But not that there was actually, like, like, the, the part of the Don Garoppa franchise that we're all aware of, apparently. What? When you guys came to this academy for the first time, you were just boring, everyday high school students. You were average students with no talent, just like me. It's like Hajime. But boring, everyday characters have no right to be in Danganronpa. So you were all made more suitable for your new roles. Everyone remembered thanks to the first flashback light. You were all given personalities, talents, and upbringings to create your characters. Much like that delightful documentary, Making a Murderer. 
It was at that point that the prologue of this story began. The real prologue. Which means your ultimate talents are all just fiction. Our talents as well? Yep, your talents are a bunch of lies. I mean, they suited you to a certain extent but mostly in a placebo effect sort of way. Does that mean, does that mean Kiba's not really a robot? Or is he actually a robot? Kind of like a form of auto-suggestion. You know, like if you do it, it'll all work out. But it's not just your talents. It's your personalities, families, memories. It's all fiction created by the flashback light. Can you really say you're not fictional now? Even if your body is real, your identities, personalities, talents, and past are all fiction. Can you really say none of this is fictional now? Wait a minute. What are you babbling about? Our identities, personalities, talents, and past are all fictional? That's stupid! That's just fucking stupid, Kadaka! I know you're watching this! It's not stupid! Whoa, Is this titties. what you all wanted? You wanted this? Yeah, you wouldn't remember, but you guys were all from the outside world. It's not strange at all that you'd want to be part of the show you love. No way! Are you saying oh my you God. To participate in this killing game? That's what Rintara meant when he said that? Oh my God! He wasn't trying to save anyone. He just wanted to be part of the fucking dog and rope experience. Why would you want to do that, though? Why would you want that kind of crazy in your life? I don't watch the Power Rangers and think to myself, God, I really want to be with. Oh, I don't. Okay, I don't watch like Kingdom Hearts and think to myself, Man, I really want. To oh, I don't play through a Persona game and think to myself, Man, I wish I. Oh, 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 no. That's not possible! How could we ever- Please, everyone, take a look at this! Hey guys! Number 154. My name is- I've always been such a huge fan of Danganronpa and- <coughs> Always wanted to be in one. Is this the future, Kadaka? Is this what's gonna happen? If I were a contestant, I would want to be an ultimate detective. I know there's been a few in the past, and I've always loved those characters. So I would want to be one of them. Remember Kid Gary? She was my wafu. Can you also put Kid Gary in the game with me? No, that's too much. That's going too far. Okay, all right, I understand. But you know, you could bring her back as like an android or something. And then I realized, and I'm like, oh my god, I've been having sex with an android this whole time. I'm like, whoa. Uh, but I don't have to be a detective. I'll be anything to be part of the show. I could be ultimate janitor. I don't give a shit. Just put me in Dongaropa, Kadaka. Please, Kadaka. I'll suck your dick, Kadaka. And I mean that. Anything. I do anything to be part of Rampa. Okay, to be fair, though, I'm being honest with you. I never thought to myself, man, I wish I was in the Dongaropa game. All right. I never, I wouldn't want to be in that situation where I'm fucking murdering everybody. I promise if I get selected, I will work as hard as I can. Yeah. I will come up with the best, most gruesome murders, I promise. Everyone will love it. No! No, Shuichi, what the fuck? No! But you didn't kill anybody. You became everyone's favorite protagonist. No! And an ultimate detective hasn't been the blackened yet, so I'm sure I could do that. I'm uh. also thinking about the perfect punishment for an ultimate detective. <laughs> wow! What a mind fuck that would be. There's me. Wait, does that mean they're not really dead then? What was that? Wasn't that you, Shuichi? No, it can't be. I'd never say something like... You wouldn't say that now, but this is you before you became who you are now. What? Ah. <laughs> uh... Oh god, I'm back to hungover, Shuichi. Ah! When we saw your audition tape, we had a flash of inspiration. 
The weakest ultimate detective ever. Wouldn't it be great to see him grow? Oh, But I lost you, Ichi. And that's why we made your character and had you join the gang. Ah, uh, it's, it's Eric's voice. And also, uh, Shido's voice. <laughs> the rest of you are no different. You auditioned, and were selected as well. Auditioned? <laughs> yeah! You were all so excited when you were selected! I believe it was right after you all received your ultimate wardrobe. Huh? Well, what am I wearing? How nice! Mm, looking good! Now you look more like Ultimates! Huh? Uh, ultimates? Really? So... Next up, the memory is all we're waiting for. You guys are ready? Hell yeah! Get ready! Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killer game! Killing game? Could it be... You, you mean, we were selected? Alright! We got picked? Really? Alright! <laughs> well, really? I'm selected for it too? We really did we... said that? Do it. Did we see that part? I don't remember. That's a lie. I have no memory of that. You just forgot is all. Because of the flashback light we used on you. The people you used to be are gone. You're fictional characters now. Oh, Do man. You finally understand? You are all flesh and blood fictional characters. So you got nowhere to return! All that stuff's fiction, too! Then, my friends and family, my whole life before coming here... My master magician that I thought hated me didn't exist at all?! All fiction! That's what a backstory is! You can't go back home, because there is no such place! Just like how there's no Togami Corporation in the real world. Duh, Nico! You should have known that, you stupid idiot! I'm not real at all! The only place we fictional characters can live is in this fictional world. Only in this world. Only in Danganronpa. Only in this world? Yes! The place you're actually trapped inside is the Danganronpa world! So, like, are they saying that all the other things before were just games, like, physical games, like this game? And then th this was, like, them actually making it, event eventually it transformed over time into an actual real-life thing that they made look like a Danganronpa game? That's why you guys can't leave this place! That's why your only option is to continue the killing game here. You're all fictional characters, created to kill each other. It's what the world wants. That's why there's nowhere to run. Enough. Wow. I don't want to know anything else. I've had enough. Oh. Ugh, that reaction. You fell into despair. It's times like these you need to look to your friends for support. However, all your friends are fictional too! For example, even Kaito's illness was given to him as part of his character. Oh my god! What? I was the one who came up with that plotline and gave him that virus! I was also the one who came up with the plotline where you fell for Kaito! Oh no, what? What are you saying? Aww. Then, what about Tango? Was she always defending me because... Because that was her character. It's the same for me too. Just like I was always pining for some Miss Sonya. But it's alright, because after the anime, I did get some in the end. Okay, no, I didn't actually. She just kind of acknowledged my existence, but that's good enough for me. A character created to bring excitement to the killing game, much like myself. So the killing game swelled with excitement. Even my pants started to swell too. Huh. You, you're telling us this is all a lie? Even my feelings? Are you saying even those were lies? 
Well, if you're going to call fiction a lie, then yes. Everything in this world has a writing credit. All our words and actions are just a bunch of lies. For example, an unbreakable vow of brotherhood is just a simple plot line. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Remember that first game you liked so much? It's fucking stupid and derivative. You don't like it at all, dumb fuck. You said it, bro! However, that was a splendid plot line! Even that thing Kaede said that moved Shuichi's heart! What? Huh? I believe in you. So she definitely believe in yourself. Oh, but I shipped them so that much. No. Because the real Kaede said. Oh, no. No. I'm perfect for a killing game. I don't have any faith in humanity. Oh. And who could forget Kaito's inspiring line? Don't forget, the possible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Oh no! There's a lie, cause the real Kaito said. Ha! Huh. I'm not just gonna be a dunk on Ronpa. I'm gonna kill everybody and win. Once I've got fame and fortune, I don't gotta worry about what's impossible. Oh Jesus Christ! No! It's all fiction! It's all a lie! Every single thing that has happened in this killing game is a lie! It's all a lie? Oh, the reason we're all here right now is because of them. Because of them. I was able to change. That's why I was trying to live for them, too. I was trying so hard to stay positive. But if even that's a lie. Why am I here? Why did I even survive this long? This is fiction. There's no greater meaning. No greater meaning to death. No oh! Life. Oh, Jesus, Caesar is here too! It's all fiction. There's no meaning to be found in any of it. <sighs> it's so gross I could just barf! Well, I guess it makes sense you wouldn't believe all this stuff. Oh, yeah, dude! I don't know, but my, my, my mind's so fucked, but I just make my hair all poofy! Oh, wait, it's like that all the time. How about that? You in despair yet? It will be troublesome for us if you don't despair under our rule. What? Duncan Rumpa's all about despair! The reason this killing game's so popular, why it's gone on for 53 seasons. That reason is despair. Viewers flock to see your despair. That's why all those people out there look so happy! See? I don't know, that guy, one guy's kind of like, putting his hand to his head. Where do they get these pictures anyway? They look like, like, generic, like, things you get from an image site. Like, I want guy with the hand to his head. I want guy making dumb, stupid face. Here's a business guy. Here's an eye guy with an afro. Hey, one dude had a Monokuma head on it, on. <laughs> they sell those? What is this? Despair? Ah, despair! Is this... Despair? Is this what the outside world wants? Is this what they want from us? Oh, don't have the energy to yell? Well, yelling for help is useless for fictional characters anyway. It makes the viewers even more depraved and obsessed when they feel sorry for you. They watch knowing that they shouldn't, just to revel in the depravity of it all. That depravity is the appeal of death games. It's the appeal of this very killing game. It's the appeal of Danganronpa itself. I don't know, I kind of do it because I like the characters. They're all adorable. 
Uh, Shoichi bedhead. Uh. So what are we supposed to do? Huh? What was that? What are we supposed to do? What's gonna happen to us? Huh? What are you guys talking about? Weren't you going to ruin the class trial and end the killing games? Go ahead and stop it if you can. Try and stop a world obsessed with it. I just gotta kill Kadaka, that's the answer. There's no way to stop it. It's impossible. Oh, are you giving up already? It's all a lie, isn't it? Me, everyone here, everyone who died. Everything's a lie, right? I can't fight for a lie, can I? Oh! What's the matter? Are you in despair? No matter how much you grow, Shuichi, you're still weak after all. Now that you know it's all lies, you've gone back to the weak ultimate detective. <laughs> this pleases us. It is a despair fit for Tungan Rompa. Well, that was surprisingly disappointing. But I guess it's okay. We're still on script. What I'm sort of curious is like, are these guys not really dead then? Or are, are they dead? They're not really dead. How did they not really die? I just don't understand. Why would anyone really want to go there and actually kill other dudes? Like really kill them? I guess because they're just fucking crazy. I think they're really dead. Everything's a lie. Everything's meaningless. Everything we've done. Everything we face together. Oh, the, the little uh, lights around his message box are starting to fade. Like how when he switched with Kaede. All of our feelings. Oh, but I love Kaede. And I love Shuichi and Kaede together. That doesn't make Nico happy, though. Pitch black lies. Doesn't matter how many mysteries you solve. The mysteries were all fiction in the first place. All scripted. It's all over. It's all just a lie anyway. It doesn't matter what you do. It's over now. Bad end! What? What did I do?